All right, this is February the 13th. This is the Aquaponics Haven. It's Craig again. Um, coming back at you about my garden. Um, I have did some changing in it and I've, I've got a floating raft bed. But um, yes, check on our tomatoes, our cherry tomatoes. We can see here we've got ripe. They're getting ripe. So I'm happy with that. I'll be picking some tomatoes here in a couple of days. Here's my um banana pepper and and um uh bell pepper and my parsley coming along here. Here's a bunch of seedlings I've I've got to get into my um floating raft system so I'll be doing that today and tomorrow. Here's some carrots that just come up. I've got to thin them out. So, but anyway, here's my hanging tomato plant. Tomatoes are getting big. They're doing real good. Here's another cherry tomato plant over there in the corner. They're really doing good. My my um cilantro and basil up there. I have emptied this bed out. I've ate all the broccoli, pulled it out of the back. I'm fixing to redo some um redo this bed, put some other stuff in it. And um I cut did some cuttings off my tomato plants and um about a I say about two two weeks ago and they are really really done really good so I'm proud of that. I've got a bunch more so, but anyway, got another one there. Um, I should have straightened this bed up before. But anyway, here's some parsley. There's some cilantro, and there's a my own broccoli plant that's come up good, and some bell pepper and banana pepper. But here is my system. My new part of my system is a floating raft bed. It has. On this area right here, I've got eight inches apart from each. Um, I say each plant, um, so they have plenty of room. Um, that's what I figure everybody was doing. What I checked on, so eight inches apart. But right here, where I'll start the seedlings and stuff like that, they're only five inches apart from each other. So there's twenty. There's twenty-eight on this one. And then there's 29 on this one. So what I do, they'll grow so far. Once these start pulling off, I'll just start transferring over there. So kind of have a little system going that from um from you know one section to the other, just constantly. And once I get the seedlings out of out of the um the grow tray, I'll start some more seeds. And so trying to keep a system going so I can have plenty of of vegetables and stuff so um but anyway my drain is a one inch pipe with a um a two inch coupling on it so that you, if you look down there you'll see that little cyclone little spinning as it drains and um it's really doing good which you can see right there so um but I am happy with it um I changed my bio filter, which I'm fixing to change it again. But I got some of these pads, with with which are the ones that you sand floors and stuff with. And, but um, they are really. A buddy told me about them, and I've got four of them in there, and they are really. See, look at that water right there. It is clear for compared to what it's been. And I mean, I am very, very satisfied with what it's doing. So, um, anyway, if you want some good, something like a bio, good bio filter, I suggest those pads. They don't fall apart when they get wet, as the one that I had last time. It was an air conditioned filter, but it just fell apart after a period of time being in the water. But this won't. So, anyway, um, there's that. My fish are doing well. 
um, which I have a, which you can see the flow of water over there and you see it, can't see it over there for the, but um, I also have oxygen running to my, well not oxygen, but air stones in my beds. Got one right there and one over there, so to aerate my bed, my floating raft beds, to, to give it oxygen. Um, and here's the new pump that I got. Well, it's not new, but it's new to me. It's a four-way. A buddy of mine um, ran into this fellow that bought a house that used to be a grow house for marijuana. So he bought hydrogen beds, all kinds of stuff, um, and pumps after pumps. And um, I got this pump from him, but um, it is doing very well. Um, use this one for a backup. So anyway, but I took out, if you remember, I had this long skinny bed that ran the direction here from there to there and it was I think um, 20 inches wide well here is all the rocks that were in here well that's actual hydrogen that I bought from my buddy um, but anyway um, I'm gonna take these buckets and turn them into a um, what what you call a Dutch bucket system they're gonna be sitting outside the greenhouse growing tomato plants so anyway this is my garden it's on February 13th and so stay tuned for more to come I am going to do more I'm gonna do a little bit of um, more things I'm fixing to try and experiment it's called the cracking system cracking system I do believe but um, I'll go into more detail. You can go on YouTube and check it out. Kraken, it's um, it's a special type of how to. It's sort of like similar to hydroponics, but um, anyway, it's just something I I think that's neat that I'm gonna try just to see if it works. But anyway, um, this is Craig. Um, this is update on my system. Stay tuned for more. Um. And also, I want to ask ask a question to the people, to the, um, the subscribers out there, and people that watch this. Now, I've heard that you are supposed to paint the top of these. I've seen videos where they were painted, and I've seen videos where they were. This is the blue foam. It's not the white foam, but they they said to paint the top of it white with enamel white paint. But um, I don't see why. But I would if if I need to do it. Um, please comment, give me a a link or something like that that I could um I could discuss this or to get some information because um it just be a pain in the butt to pull all this out and should have done it beforehand. But I didn't have no enamel paint, no white enamel paint. I didn't want to go to Walmart. A Home Depot and run up there and to do it so but anyway this is my setup look for more to come and Lord willing we'll talk to you later may the Lord Jesus Christ bless you bye